Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In this video, I'm going to show you a card from my class using the Gorgeous Leaves Bundle. The bundle is beautiful. Uh, the class includes eight cards, two each of four designs, plus the envelopes. You get a pre-cut cardstock kit with the supplies to create the cards, as well as your supply kit, which includes um, a half a roll of the bumblebee gingham ribbon, a half a roll of the fine art ribbon, a half a pack of the brushed metallic adhesive dots, beautifully penned designer series paper. You will get six three by six pieces of our brushed metallic card stocks a half a pack of the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper, and then two of these gift boxes that you can house the cards that you're going to make in the class. So the bundle is the Gorgeous Leaves bundle, which includes the intricate leaves dies plus the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set. You can add this to your kit if you would like for a total of $102.45. And then I'm using the Inspired Thoughts stamp set for my sentiments, and you can add this to your kit for $23 if you so desire. The links to everything is in the description of this video. So let me get the supplies for uh, one of the cards in this class and we'll get started. Before I do that though, I do want to give a shameless plug to my Fall Stampapalooza event that's coming up at the end of September. Um, I'm doing it with my two besties, Dina and Kelly. Uh, you can do the online only version for $70, which gives you access to the Facebook group, all the videos, all the uh, samples, that we have from our designers and everything like that. If you want the retreat goodie box, that is $159 and you will include $100 in product, uh, then plus all the cardstock pieces for the make and take kit and uh, some other little goodies. If you're Stamp Happy Academy members, there's a free gift for you. Uh, so yeah, Stampapalooza with the retreat box, $159 online only $70 and we are having a business palooza portion um this is on Thursday, September 23rd, and this is going to be a $49 item, or you can add it to your Stamp of Palooza uh, retreat for $25. Again, all the links are in the description of this video, so let's get started. All right, so what I have here is a uh, 8.5 by 5.5 piece of Bumblebee card stock, um, a layer of Whisper White. A layer of basic white that's four by five and a quarter you're going to need to cut yourself a one and three quarter by five and a quarter inch piece of this pattern from the beautifully penned paper you will receive a circle this is about in between a two and a quarter two and a half inch circle you can use a punch or a die cut uh, your kit will include it if you are just uh, you know following along with the class you'll have to get your own and then I do have a few other pieces of the designer series papers that are included in your kit that you'll need to cut. This is a one by one and three quarters. This one is a one and a quarter by one and three quarters. And then this one is a one and three quarter by one and three quarter square. And the reason I did this is I just thought it found it to be easier to take my designer series paper here and just add these pieces to it rather than trying to piecemeal it across. I just decided to go ahead and just add it to uh, this piece right here. So that's what we're going to do first. And if these pieces are off a little bit, that's totally fine because we're going to cover our seam with some ribbon. There we go. At this last one. And we'll do that right here. Okay. And then we can go ahead and add this to our layer of white. I have been thoroughly enjoying working with this bundle. These products are amazing. The leaf dies are gorgeous. Uh, the papers, just everything. I've just been loving every bit of it. Okay, so we have that piece done. Uh, then we've got our circle. And I kind of thought for the background of the circle, I might bring in one of our little splattery stamps from the set. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. And I am going to bring in some smoky slate, I think. And let's get a scrap paper here so we can stamp off. Because I'm pretty sure I don't want it to be super dark. I just want it to be a little bit of a fun background. There we go. I think that's fine. And then we need to get some leaves. So you'll find some scraps in your kit um, of white. 
you'll probably have actually some larger pieces of white to do all your stamping and die cutting on. And so I'm going to use this large leaf right here and I'm going to stamp that in some bumblebee. And then we're going to take these over to our stamp and cut and emboss machine and uh, get get these die cut. And then I'm also going to do uh, a black on this long skinny leaf. And let's get that inked up nicely. Okay, we'll do that. And then we're going to have a few scraps of bumblebee and black that we will uh, get some leaves die cut, as well as a couple of the... Um, we're going to use some of the brushed metallic cardstock to also get some of the leaves. So let me do all that die cutting and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I actually forgot that I also needed one of these leaves out of the bumblebee. So we might have hadn't stamped and die cut that. So here are our stamped leaves. I've got these two leaves out of the gold metallic cardstock, and then I did get a couple out of black. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of build a little bit of a scene on this layer here. Uh, with the leaves. So we'll just kind of throw them around a little bit here and there and see what we can come up with. I kind of just thought something like that. So I think that'll be good. So let me go ahead and lay this one down uh, flat. We'll start with that. And then this one, I think I'm going to use some dimensionals. Kind of see how this is all going to build up here for us. That one. This one, I will also use a couple of dimensionals. And I'm using the minis just because um, I want to have a few dimensionals on here. Uh, I'll go like that. And then these, if you have our adhesive sheets, you could absolutely use these, or you could use a sponge and a silicone mat. I'm just going to go ahead and use liquid glue. And I'm just going to kind of mimic the placement of those. This one, I think we're going to go with this one first. Add some glue to this. There we go. And then our last little friend, I think we might just tuck it up under like so. Get the glue on there. And we'll just kind of get it underneath everything that's there. There we go. All right, so we've got our little kind of focal point done. Uh, this layer here, I'm going to do a stamp a sentiment. And we're going to use the one that says sending you healing thoughts find my black here and i'm just going to put that so it's right above my designer series paper here there we go and then i thought i would hide my seam by bringing some of this really fun bumblebee gingham ribbon in here um, i need some tape all right and so now you can see what i was talking about how i can just go ahead and hide that a uh, little bit of designer series paper that I didn't cut precisely. So we can always find tips to hide things. And you can see I practiced on this layer. There we go. Close that up so I don't get my fingers all stuck in it. I think we'll go ahead and use dimensionals on this layer here. So I'm gonna grab five, one for the middle and then one for each corner. those backings peeled off and then we'll add it to our main layer here there we go and then our little focal point I think we'll go with dimensionals on this little guy too okay and then I kind of thought it might be kind of cute to bring in a little bow. So I've got a little scrap piece of ribbon here. I'm just going to tie myself a little knot, a little bow, excuse me. And I don't want it super big. And then I'm just going to kind of throw it in the middle of all that fun there. All right, I already 
found one that I have done. So let me trim off the ends here of the ribbon of the little bow. Is that going to be small enough? I think that it will. So let me grab a glue dot here. And then our final thing will be to decorate the inside just a tiny, tiny bit and um, add some gems to the front here. There we go. Cute little ribbon. Perfect. I've got a few little gems left on this layer here. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, use my take your pick tool. And I think I'm going to maybe throw them up here on this and then I don't know if we can get away with this sure why not okay and then on the inside we can always bring in a piece of this striped paper and this is about a three-quarter inch strip there we go just grab some snips and we'll get rid of that excess there and then I do have a couple more little leaves that I die cut so you can take your scraps and um, yeah I think that'll be cute and then you have plenty of room to write your message and then we'll do some fun on the envelope flap there we go I think we'll use that same paper all right and I just like to add a real slim skinny bead of glue on my envelope flaps and then we'll just take our designer series paper this is cut to two and a half by six by the way and we'll glue that to the flap and then we can just trim off the excess all right and there it is so again, all the information for the class is in the description of this video. I've got kits just waiting to get out of here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel right down here in the corner. And I hope you have a fabulous day.